So that was the money shot. That same process happened on all 10 of my fingers. I didn't want to show you all 10 of the same process over and over again. So what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about my experience and about the company itself that painted my nails clockwork. First of all, the only reason I heard about this company is because I got a targeted Instagram ad in the middle of the night that said, robot, manicure, free. And of course, I immediately put in all my information and I was like, okay, take it. Where do I go? Instagram just sent me an ad that said, All right, do you want a free robot manicure? And I was like, yes, I do. I'm interested in robots and I am also interested in free. So tomorrow I'm going to get a robot manicure. So I signed up to be a beta tester for Clockwork, but if you are interested in getting your nails done by a robot and you're based in the San Francisco area, you can always go to their Chestnut Salon that recently opened in the marina and get a manicure from the robot for $7.99. Again, I'm sharing my experience as a beta tester, so it might be a little bit different from what you experience professionally at their salon, but they currently don't cut or shape your nails, they just paint them, and I just wanted to throw that out there. Before the appointment, I was really excited to go and I thought I would walk there. Okay, so following up on the Instagram ad that I got last night, I am now walking to the robot manicurist, but I've since looked at their Instagram and I'm like, am I gonna come out of this with like no fingers? I don't know. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm cautiously excited and you know I guess this is one of the benefits of being able to say I live in the city of San Francisco so there's that and yeah see you soon with some nail polish and what I realized, of course, after that lovely clip that I just showed you, is that they are very early stages in their company development. So the office that I was going to was an office in an apartment building. And this isn't strange for San Francisco. This is super common of all early startups, just, you know, starting in an apartment building. But when I buzzed in, I was just... There was just a group of people there and they didn't say, hey, this is clockwork or like, are you our beta tester? Like everyone was completely silent and I walked up completely silent and we were just standing there until I like very awkwardly blurted out like, is this clockwork? Am I in the right area? Um, and someone was like, oh yeah, come in. And you know, of course, because I'm a nervous Nelly, I was like, this is where my organs get stolen, but it wasn't, it was just, their apartment office and they sat me down in front of five nail polish colors and they asked me which one I would like. I 100% panic picked. I picked a purple color that I, looking back, don't really like, but I'm sure at the salon they have more colors for you to choose from. I'm guessing at the salon you also are going to be just interfacing with the robot itself, but because I was in beta test and they were thinking things through, testing things out, I had to stick my finger into the machine and someone actually had to tell the robot to start painting my nail. The process itself was really simple. In order to make sure that the robot has a accurate eye of where your nail starts and ends and make sure it doesn't like get nail polish on your skin, you have to hold on to this little holster that holds your finger in place. A light will flash. That is essentially the robot trying to figure out what your nail shape looks like and then a little tip filled with the nail polish will come down and start painting your nail. It starts essentially from the outside ending all the way in the center and the feeling of the machine painting your nail feels similar to having a ballpoint pen and just drawing on your fingernail itself. The whole process was very simple and easy. It painted my nails perfectly. I didn't need to do any redos. It was just one flat shade and the first thing that I asked was do you have any plans to start including designs for nails like french tips more interesting patterns you know things like that and they said that it was coming soon for me as someone who doesn't paint their nails often at home the one thing that i am certain that i can do is paint my nails one flat color what i would love is to you know stick my fingers into a machine have it do a pretty cool pattern and you know be in and out of the salon salon in 10 minutes. I think that would be amazing. Another thing that I wanted to say is that they don't put any base or top coat on to your nail after you get it painted by the robot because, again, I was a beta tester. This may be different at the salon, but anyone that has painted their nails once knows how fragile a single layer of nail polish is. So it tripped pretty 
I wouldn't say immediately, but it wasn't like long lasting or anything like that. Here's my nails right after the robot. And then here's my nails around a week after. Now let's get a little bit into the company itself. They are helmed by three individuals, Renuka Apte, James Rasmussen, and Aaron Schwartz. The company itself is backed by some big names in Silicon Valley. Alexis Ohanian from Reddit fame, Julie Bornstein from Stitch Fix, and also one person who I thought was interesting, Liz Whitman, who founded the Manicube, which is another nail polish technology, um, all back this company. One thing I will say is that I am super glad that one of the founders is a woman of color. And I think since all of their marketing is geared towards the Athena woman, the career driven woman who wants her services to work like clockwork, their mascot is the Athena owl. One of the questions that I asked the engineer that was minding me was, do you have any female engineers? And he said, no, not yet. So this is a well talked about problem in Silicon Valley, but I just wanted to mention it here as well. I think diversity and inclusion is really important. And as a company like this gets larger and larger, especially since most of their marketing is like geared towards women or women identifying individuals or anyone who gets their nail painted, I think it would behoove them to include more of those voices in their company just naturally. Another thing that I thought about was before quarantine, I usually went to get my nails done pretty often at Nell's Beauty Salon, and she has actually just opened a second location called Nell's Beauty Club in San Francisco. I highly recommend her and her staff if you are in the San Francisco area. I love her. It could be a one-sided friendship, but every time I go, there's lots of snacks, there's lots of talking, like I get my nails done, I talk about what's going on in the salon, new trends, and Obviously, you don't have that when you're getting your nails done by a robot because it's a robot. That's one of the things that I was like kind of thinking about. Like clockwork definitely has a place because there's definitely people that need to get their nails done, you know, in a crunch, like super fast, ready to go, get out of there. But there's also a cadre of people who get their nails done as a treat yourself ritual to, you know, talk with people, to get a massage, to pause, slow down and relax. So I can see, you know, the pros and cons of both things, but I could go on. If you're curious about getting your nails done by a robot and you're in San Francisco, of course you can go to the Clockwork website and sign up for an appointment. They are located on Chestnut Street in the Marina. And if you do get your nails done, tell me what you think. I'm very curious to see what other people think about the whole process. I'm looking forward to the designs. I'm looking forward to an addition of top coat and base coat. But for now, I just thought it was like super fun and I wanted to share my experience with you. Also, $8 for a manicure is a pretty big steal. So, just saying. Anyway, that's enough blathering for me. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about the whole process, please let me know in the comments down below. I am happy to answer them. And if you would be so kind, please like and subscribe. I would love to see you here again and uh, do whatever you want. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a robot. Okay. <laughs> a robot talking about robots. Okay.